nationalist William Sapphire on who would become the new Soviet leader. I would keep my eye on uh, uh, Romanov. Good evening, I'm Sam Donaldson, and this is Nightline. That's just a sample of the predictions made on this broadcast a year ago. Some were right, some were wrong. But we promised our guests that we'd have them back on January 1st, 1986, hold them accountable, and show them no mercy. This is ABC News Nightline. Substituting for Ted Koppelin, reporting from Washington, Sam Donaldson. Making predictions is a lot of fun. It takes no courage whatsoever. The weatherman does it every day without a qualm. No, the courage comes from standing up later and having all those mixed predictions read back and then going on to make some more. Well, tonight we have with us three forecasters who deserve a medal for valor. One year ago, Arthur Laffer, Frank DeFord, and William Sapphire came on this program to look into the future, and tonight they're back to do it again. But first, let's see how good they were last year. Just as Ted Koppel promised then, we would. Next year at this time, we'll play portions of this program back. There will be no mercy. No mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy, no mercy. <laughs> Replacing Chernyanko uh, in the Soviet Union will be a man whose name ends with V. So uh, I would keep my eye on uh, uh, Romanov, who was uh, in his 60s, early 60s. He's not as young as uh, Gorbachev, and uh, I think he's the man to watch. Once again, change in the Soviet Union. Konstantin Chernyenko dies, Mikhail Gorbachev replaces him. The old guard out, the new guard in. I go with Edmonton. I think they're the one lock of the year. For the second straight year, the Edmonton Oilers are the Stanley Cup champions. Unemployment, where is that going to stand? I think unemployment's going to go up just a little bit throughout the year. Unemployment dropped one-tenth of one percent last month to an even seven percent, equaling the lowest unemployment rate of the Reagan presidency. The big birthday present for 1985, carrying on to be the big selling Christmas present at the end of the year, and you can play this for them then, will be the answering machine for car telephones. You know, I'm not in my car right now, but at the sound of the honk. You can call forward your calls, Bill, but there is no such thing as a car phone answering machine. It's nine months to go, but already we're talking Subway Series here, and uh, I, I myself would bet the Orioles and the Braves. To Motley, for the title. I think you're going to see mortgage rates down in the 12% range, maybe even a little bit lower. Interest rates continue down. The Veterans Administration lowering home mortgage rates a half point to 10.5% effective today. Georgetown is maybe too intense. You can't keep that kind of intensity up year after year, time after time. That's it. Bill Helba has done it. I think the price of gold's coming down. Below 300? Oh, I think definitely below 300. London, the morning gold fix, up $6.50 an ounce from yesterday's close in New York. Prior to this program, an anonymous senior columnist for the New York Times predicted that Arthur Laffer was going to run for the U.S. Senate this year from California. I announced my candidacy for the U.S. Senate from the state of California. California, here I come. They were middle class is about to ascend to a position to really rival back and row and that they're their competition this year they're, they should win all the major matches themselves uh and 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 be in a lot of the finals against each other we're going to pass a major flatter tax bill you are about to watch passage of tax reform in the house question comes on the passage of the bill 
All those in favor say aye. Opposed, no. The ayes have it. The bill is passed. What's the price of a barrel of oil going to be next year at this time as we look at this tape? $21. I think in baseball, this is going to be the year that Eddie Murray absolutely takes charge of the sport. Well, I think the one problem, Mary, we're going to face in economics is international trade. And I think there's going to be a lot of pressure for protectionist legislation. By a vote of 92 to nothing, the Senate last week called on President Reagan to retaliate against Japanese protectionism. I think Edward Moses is probably going to break his record, too, and go under 47 seconds. I would see a, uh, an upheaval in China. Sweet breeze of conversation. Remember Carl Lewis? I and, remember uh, Carl. Well, Lewis. a lot of people have forgotten. Where, where's he going to do it? He's got so many different areas. Uh, but I think, I think, no, I think he'll break uh, Bob Beeman's uh, the long jump record. I think this year you're going to see a, a very large increase in the stock market. That's my sort of big prediction. Starting last January at 1211.57, the Dow Jones Industrial Average meandered slowly upward until September, then took off like a rocket. It closed today above 1546. Cruel and unusual punishment. When we come back, we'll go to syndicated columnist William Sapphire, sports writer Frank DeFord, and economist Arthur Laffer to offer what kudos are due them and to give them a shot at dealing with the egg on their faces. This is ABC News Nightline, brought to you by Kraft. The Kraft companies never going to change their macaroni and cheese to cheese and macaroni. They don't have to. I started my own company. Katie's Cheese and Macaroni. Yep, and it's free or cheesy. Taste it. But Kraft is the cheesiest. Are you sure this isn't Kraft cheese and macaroni? Kraft macaroni and cheese has more cheese than any other brand. That's why it tastes the best. I thought so. Kraft cheese and macaroni, the cheesiest. Sears National Home Appliance Sale is so big, nobody wants to miss it. Save $130 on this Powermate vacuum. 3.9 horsepower. Amazing. This Kenmore washer is $299.99. Dryer, $249.99. Both with permanent press cycles. This 18 cubic foot refrigerator, $479.99. Look, frostless. Don't miss one of the biggest sales anywhere. Get more for your life at Sears. Here's what you should be doing instead of suffering from cramps. <laughs> You could, with the help of Maximum Cramp Relief Formula Pampers. Each capsule has as much aspirin-free pain reliever as extra strength Tylenol. Plus, a special cramp reliever Tylenol doesn't have. The result, maximum relief from cramps. So get Maximum Cramp Relief Formula Pampers and get out there. It's the Nissan dealer's year-end blowout, and they're dealing. There ain't nothing like it nowhere. <laughs> Translation, save a bundle. Right. Decorations aren't the only things coming down. Truck prices start at $61.99. Central prices at $56.49. But with deals and factory sales incentives on trucks, you can save hundreds more. Take a reindeer and train. It's a Nissan year-end blowout. There ain't nothing like it nowhere. But the blowout ends January 4th. Get down to your Central Illinois Nissan dealer now. Thursday on 2020, the story of a teenage boy who didn't fit in and how that led to a shooting spree which ended in murder. Watch 2020 Thursday.
Joining us now live in our Washington Bureau is William Sapphire, Washington columnist for the New York Times, whose record on predictions for 1985 on last year's broadcast was one right and four wrong. In our New York studios, Frank DeFord, senior writer for Sports Illustrated magazine, who is down in the Nightline record books with two right and four wrong. And in our Los Angeles Bureau, Arthur Laffer, leading exponent of supply-side economics, who checks in with an impressive three and a half right and one and a half wrong for the year. Well, Arthur Laffer, congratulations, champ. How did you do it? Oh, it was luck all the way. Well, no. It was very impressive, uh, the stock market. You said it would be above 1,500, and sure enough, it closed uh, last Tuesday at 1,546.67. What's it going to do this year? Well, I think you're going to see an awfully good year in 1986. I would expect it to continue, and that by the end of the year, you'll be around 1,900.37. 1,900.37. Reaganomics is really working, and it's working very well. A lot of people say that you're one of the fathers of Reaganomics, that you are, you are the Mr. Supply side. I don't know what to say to that, but I've been working in this area for a long time on incentive economics, and it's, it's really working. It's working beautifully. All right, now, I gave you a half point. You said a tax bill would pass Congress. It passed the House, a tax reform bill, but it hasn't True. passed the Senate. Will it pass the Senate this year? Yeah, I think something of some form will come through the Senate. There will be a tax bill passed this year. I think the reason it wasn't all passed last year as the president's illness really slowed down his campaign to get it through both the House and the Senate. Now, when you but say I, something will pass the Senate, you mean something close to what Mr. Reagan wanted? Well, it's fairly close. In fact, I think it'll be close to a, a combination of the reagan rothstein bills. I think you'll see something right in the middle, lowering rates, broadening the base, but with state and local taxes uh, still being deductible, uh, not being excluded. And there'll be a lot of other details in the bill that will be different. But basically, it'll be a combination of the Reagan and Rostenkowski bills. Okay, Frank DeFord, you're right in the middle of, of our three forecasters as far as accuracy goes. You said the Edmonton Oilers would win the Stanley Cup. They did. What, second year in a row? Would you like to try for three? I stick right with the Oilers one more time. How can they do it three years in a row, Frank? They got a guy named Wayne Gretzky, and I think the Oilers are the one, um, the one lock in, 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 in sports. That pro probably in Martina Navratilova as... Uh, as an individual. Of course, the Oilers can't beat the Russians, uh, so they're only the best in this hemisphere, though. Okay, now you also said that Georgetown wouldn't win the NCAA championship, and they didn't. Take a prediction for this year? Uh, yes, I will. Last time, at this time, Georgetown was number one in the polls, and I said they wouldn't win. And uh, North Carolina is number one in the polls right now, and I'll say they won't win. I'll say it'll be Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech. Okay, let's go to the World Series. Now, you, you struck out last year <laughs> yes, on the I World Series. Did. You said the Orioles and the Braves would be, be in the series, and neither, neither team was. Take a pick this year. I'm going to stick with the Orioles again, Sam. I, I'm, I'm going to go down swinging with them all the way. But I see a return to 1969. This is going to be the Orioles and the Mets uh, having a replay of that year. I think there's sort of something cyclical in sports now with Halley's Comet coming back, and we're going to see a, a sort of return. Well, is this just simply sticking with something to you get it right? I mean, why do you say the Orioles? I say the Orioles because I think they had an awful lot of things that went wrong last year. They had to replace the manager in the beginning of the year. You mentioned Eddie Murray lately, who uh, earlier, who I thought was going to have a terrific season. He had a couple of personal tragedies at the beginning. Uh, the Orioles are awfully strong with Ripken and Murray in the middle of the lineup. I think their pitching will be better this year. They'll have Weaver for the whole year, and I think they want to win one for Edward Bennett Williams. Okay, William Sapphire. Bill, you're, you're the goat, so to speak, of these predictions. Uh, so let me reverse the question I asked Art Laffer. How come you got it wrong? Look, I, I was ready, Sam, if somebody asked me uh, last year to say that Nightline wouldn't make it through to this year. <laughs> so uh, uh, it was a lucky thing I wasn't there. Well, Ted's on vacation, but that has nothing to do with the health of Nightline, I assure you. No, I'm willing to predict about Nightline that uh, you'll be doing Nightline uh, next year at this time. You're just trying to make and, trouble. Uh, is Ted that, is that your purpose of coming the evening on news, And Peter Jennings will be president of ABC. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rune Arledge wants to talk to you. <laughs> Let, let's get back to a serious right. note. Now, you, you said V. Uh, a guy whose last name ended with V would replace Chernyenko, and sure enough, Gorbachev. But you didn't mean Gorbachev. You meant Romanov. Well, everybody and his brother was predicting uh, Gorbachev would be the next boss. So I like to take a long shot once in a while, and uh, I was lucky once uh, in guessing that Hua Kuo Feng would be the uh, head of China. But, uh, so I, I took another crap shot. Wrong this time. But, uh, if you want to keep your eye on a, a man whose name ends with V besides Gorbachev, it is uh, Marshal Ogarkov. Uh, it's a kind of an Irish name, Ogarkov.
but uh, uh, I think he will come back as defense minister and maybe one day go all the way. Okay, let me give you a couple of quick ones. Uh, I read your, your column of predictions in the New York Times. I mean, you, you've really ma made a uh, tradition out of that. So I already know the answer, but tell us, uh, what about Marcos of the Philippines? Will he last out the year? I don't think so. I think one way or the other, he'll be out. Uh, of all the world leaders, uh, I think uh, Marcos has the, uh, uh, the, f the earliest ticket out. What about Gaddafi of Libya? Will he last out the year? I would think, uh, I would think that uh, he might wind up out of office uh, and out of this world. Uh, <laughs> it's a tough uh, uh, position to be in uh, where he is now. Everybody uh, out to get him. Okay, finally, uh, what about Donald Regan, the White House Chief of Staff? Will he last the year out? I think Don Regan will, and uh, he won't be the, uh, the target of uh, scorn that he is now. Okay, we'll hear more predictions from our three guests when we continue in just a moment. Do you want to dance? Hold my hand. Now there's a car Tell that just me. asks to be driven. You're my lover man. Oh, baby. Mercury is bringing a sophisticated new shape to the American Do you road. Wanna dance? Introducing Sable. Mercury, the shape you want to be in. Sears National Home Appliance Sale is so big, nobody wants to miss it. Big sale. This VHS VCR, $299.99. Remote control, very advanced. This stereo rack system, $299.99. 30 watts, impressive. This solid state touch control microwave, $179.99. Are you free for dinner? Don't miss one of the biggest sales anywhere. There's more for your life at Sears. Here's the sound of a cold or allergy. Now listen to the new sound of relief. Dimatap was the number one cold and allergy brand prescribed by doctors for over 20 years. Now Dimatap is available in new non-prescription formulas. 12-hour Dimatap <laughs> Extend Tabs relieve sneezing, stuffy runny nose, itchy eyes. 4-hour Dimatap Elixir does the same for children. Dimatap brings effective relief to you. I sure hope we catch something today. I think we will. This is a great day to fish. Wait, I think I've got something. Oh, that's nothing. Throw it back. I think it's the best catch of the day. A Richland class schedule. A Richland class schedule could be your best catch. For advising and counseling, phone 875-7200. Richland, where your future begins. Gary Collins has been keeping some very interesting company lately. The women of the hour. Every weekday, Gary invites one of America's favorite women to join him as woman of the hour. They're provocative, reviewing, unpredictable, and funny. I did not give birth to twins with mustaches. They're America's most dynamic women. Our magazine presents the woman of the hour. Afternoons at 3, here on TV 17. Continuing our discussion now, Arthur Laffer, you've talked about the market going up. I take it you're optimistic on the entire economy. The administration prediction is for a 4% growth in 1986. Do you agree? I think it's going to be a little higher. If you take it fourth quarter over fourth quarter, you're going to see an exceptionally strong year in 1986. That means Low inflation. Interest rates uh, drop? Interest rates will continue dropping slightly. I think you're going to see real growth. 5% from fourth quarter over fourth quarter, and inflation staying at around the 3% level. I think it's going to be a spectacular year. Well, what about the unemployment rate? That's one you missed on last year. Well, well, this year, I think it's falling sharply. I would expect the unemployment rate, as long as you're going to pin me, to be about 6% by the end of the year, and the budget deficit will also be down sharply throughout the year. Well, you know, in Washington, we would say that is a very rosy scenario to, to trot that whole gal out one more time. <laughs> That's true. But you still think it is it. Well, I think it's right this time. I mean, I don't like rosy scenarios when they're wrong, but I think this one's going to be a very strong year. And, the, you know, the president's policies are just beautiful. And I think the economy is <laughs> just going to perform very well. Okay, one more quick prediction from you. Who's going to be the next senator from California? Uh, of course, it's going to be Arthur Laffer. He's going to take office on January 1st, 1987. 
He's yeah. going to be elected, though, in 86. Now, you know what we're going to have to do? We're going to have to give equal time to everybody running against you in California. Oh, in a news show, that's not necessary. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> let's, me, let, let's move on to sports, another sort of activity. Fra Frank DeFord, uh, talk about the, the general sports outlook this year, and let's go to baseball. Expansion is the, is the big word in the area. What's going to happen by the end of the year in that, in that sense? Well, I think it's a big word in, in Washington, and that's where you are, Sam, because Washington wants a team very much. But there doesn't seem to be a great deal of sentiment for it generally uh, across the board. I'll say no expansion in 86. And how about Joe Theismann? Is he going to return to the Redskins here in Washington? We're interested in that also. Uh, it's awfully difficult at his age. I, I, mean, I think it's very game of Joe to talk about coming back. Joe always talks about something, though. And uh, I, I'd be very surprised if a man at his age... I can't see the value of, of coming back at, at his age and taking a chance, so I, I'd be very surprised at that. Okay, talking about someone who always talks about something, Howard Cosell, who is uh, leaving ABC as far as his television commitments are concerned. Is Howard washed up? No, I think Howard will remain a pretty strong radio voice. Uh, I think maybe next to Paul Harvey, uh, there's nobody with as strong a radio character and personality as Howard. I have a hunch he's going to be around, and we're going to hear about him for a long time to come. Okay, William Sapphire, back to politics and the United States Senate. Big question this year is, will the Republicans hold on to it, or will the Democrats take it back? What do you guess? I think the Democrats will gain seats in the, in the Senate, uh, but I don't think they'll... Uh, they'll get the seats necessary to take control. So how many do you think they'll gain? You said three in your column? Yeah, two or three. Okay, and they need what, six? Uh, five or six. Five or six. And the House, I assume, will, will, will remain Democratic? Uh, that's an easy prediction, yes. Uh, but I think they'll, they'll gain uh, again in this off year. Uh, Sam, you've got to ask him about California. <laughs> okay, uh, Sapphire, you're the one who predicted, and it was your one right prediction last year that Laffer would run for the Senate, and he is running for the Senate. Now, he says he's going to win. What do you say? I would say that uh, if Laffer gets the nomination, he'll win the, uh, the race. Uh, if he doesn't get the nomination, if, he go if it goes to uh, Peter Uberoth, if he, if he decides to run, uh, I think uh, uh, the Democrat uh, will, will be able to hold a seat. Well, you say if Uberoth decides to run, and if he decides to run, you're saying you'll beat Laffer? No, yes. I, no, I didn't say that. No, I didn't no. say that. Because I'm, I'm loath to go up against Laffer uh, after this display. Well, what, what, uh, di what did you year. say? <laughs> but uh, I think uh, Art's got a, got a good fighting chance. He's, he's a long shot now. And I like long shots, so I'm willing to bet on him for, for, the, uh, for the nomination. And if he gets the nomination, he'll go all the way. Okay, Bill, you told us a moment ago that you think Don Regan will remain in the White House. Do you see any changes in the senior White House staff or in the president's cabinet this coming year? Well, I think uh, uh, there's a good likelihood that a Supreme Court seat uh, will open up. And if that happens, there's a likelihood, or at least, at least a strong possibility, that the president will appoint uh, Ed Meese. And that would open up the cabinet. That would also open up one root and tootin' debate uh, on confirmation. Well, there are a lot of names floating around. Mies, of course, has always been in there, but, but we hear the president's old friend who was Mies' predecessor, William French Smith. Is he still in the running? I don't think so, uh, but uh, Judge Clark would uh, be one of the ones. Most conservatives would like to see uh, you know, a classy appointment like Robert Bork, but uh, you never can tell. Well, uh, the name Orrin Hatch, who is a senator from Utah, I saw in the paper the other day. Does he have a chance to be nominated to the court? I... Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, uh, Hatch has got a good future in the Senate. Arthur Laffer, let's go back on politics. Uh, despite uh, your feeling about yourself, or because of it, I suppose, what do you think will happen to the Senate? Will the Republicans take over? You know, I think I Bill's mean, will Republicans lose it? I don't think the Republicans are going to lose it. I think Bill Sapphire is probably correct on that, that the Democrats will pick up one or two seats but won't take control of the Senate, and uh, that the Republicans will stay in control there. Frank DeFord, is there anything going up on Capitol Hill this year in the Congress that's going to affect sports in a major way? I don't see it. It's talking about Uberoth, though. If it makes Mr. Laffer feel any better, I don't think Peter will run. Why not? I don't think he wants to be a junior or anything. Uh, I think, I, I, if I see Peter Uberoth's future at all, leaving baseball, and there are a lot of people who would like to see him leave baseball, a lot of the owners, uh, I think that he would rather take over a company and, and run a large corporation as opposed to being one of a hundred senators. Okay, now I want for the next minute or so for the three of you to think about something that is way out. Something that I'll give you a chance to make a prediction so that one year from now we can really take a look at you to see whether your crystal ball is uh, cracked or not. And we'll do that in just a moment. It's a beautiful 
good day, huh? Yep. Hi. How you doing? I had a little trouble keeping up with you. Is that you back there? Yeah, <laughs> some road, huh? Sure is. Hey, how do you like your Grand Am? Love it. Really handles. Why, well, I guess you just fly disappeared from me back there, man. <laughs> what engine you running? Three liter V6. Fuel injected? Oh, yeah. Thought maybe I'll see you next time through. Yeah, hey, maybe next time I'll have a, uh... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's your first child, we want to be there. It's your new house, we want to be there. You're working hard to make your dreams come true. Dean Witter wants to dream them with you. No matter what goals you have in life, when Dean Witter helps plan your investments, you're treated special. Everybody is somebody at Dean Witter. A member of the Sears Financial Network. American Express had a dream of one worldwide headquarters, so they chose AT&T for communications and information systems that could grow with them. At AT&T, we not only understand technology, we understand dreams. Whether it's telephones, information systems, long-distance services, or computers. The right choice, are you tired of sleepless nights? Now you can have the ultimate in comfort and quality sleep possible on the Bemco Adjust-A-Magic electric bed. Featured at Jensen Home Furnishings in Taylorville, the Bemco Adjust-A-Magic bed offers the fullest use of a bedroom for watching TV, reading in bed, or just relaxing in any position. The Bemco electric bed adjusts to your body to improve the quality of sleep with a perfect body fit. Try one out at Jensen Home Furnishings, the exciting new store across from the Taylorville Post Office, Taylorville. Thursday on 2020, risk takers. From hang gliders to high finance, why they are willing to take chances. Watch 2020 Thursday. Is your New Year's resolution to start jogging? Well, tomorrow, John Stossel shows us how to select the right running shoe, and Jill St. John shares a recipe on Good Morning America. It's time now for a free-for-all. No questions from me, just some predictions from our guests. Arthur Laffer, you first. Predict something. Bill Sapphire will rate number one in our ratings a year from today. What do you mean, number one in our ratings? That he will be the best <laughs> forecaster of the group. Oh, for the last shall be first? The last shall be first. And plus, the farm problem, I think, will be to a large extent solved by a year from today. Frank DeFord, your turn. I say either Sapphire and I will be the best predictor because now that Laffer's a politician, he obviously can't win. <laughs> Secondly, I say the USFL will go out of business this year. Why? Uh, the, the lawsuit. They're trying to get an antitrust suit. If they win, they'll be taken into the uh, National Football League. A couple of teams, if they don't, uh, they'll go by the wayside. What will television or some television do then uh, for, for a show? Uh, I think there are enough games, Sam. There are about 84 football games every weekend, and somehow I think we'll survive that uh, deprivation. Bill Sapphire, well, give I us think, something. I think there'll be a Labor Day summit, and we'll do very well on Star Wars, which nobody really credited uh, Reagan with the possibility of doing well on. So that's a good one. But well, what will happen at the summit then? I think that uh, uh, we'll be able to go ahead uh, with testing, and the Soviet Union uh, will go along with us on that. That's a, that's a big one. Okay. Now, the, the surprise, I think, will be a blow-up in, uh, in Iran. That war cannot go on the way it's been going. Who will win? I think Iran will uh, uh, make a big effort to win and lose. Okay. Thank Actually, you. both sides will lose that war. All three of you, thanks for being with us, and we'll check you next year. That's our report for tonight. I'm Sam Donaldson in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, Happy New Year, and good night.